What's going on everybody? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's one, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of the leaked information that we got given throughout the past few days. Now obviously with Black Ops 4 just around the corner, the hype is getting real and I haven't been this excited for a very, very long time. Honestly, I can't wait for this year. It's gonna be, it's gonna be such a grind. I'm gonna be really working hard um, for this channel. And I'm just, in general, super excited for this year. Now, I'm a person that can't really resist from looking at leaks. I sort of um, maintained to not look at all of the, like, all of the Black Ops 4 Reddits and all that. But I did look. Obviously, it's pretty hard to not come across some of the leaked information on Twitter and really. Charlie Intel is where I got most of this information from so if you guys want to check out their Twitter and Instagram I'll leave the link in the description down below without a doubt the most reliable Call of Duty information center apart from obviously Treyarch with that being said let's get right into some of the information that we came across Charlie Intel lets you know about all the information such as leaks um, download information just really really good obviously while we talk about leaks um, Treyarch have been doing almost anything to prevent leaks being being put out there um obviously they're very very quick to getting like getting them off twitter getting them off reddit um it's been something that they've been doing for a while and a lot of other companies um that have made call of duty um i believe sledgehammer pretty much went off last year with all the leaks that got released they pretty much just banned a bunch of people but there is one thing that is very similar between treyarch and sledgehammer they have put in place an update that is required to play black ops 4 as you guys can see on your screen right now there is an update um that needs to be done if you already have a copy of black ops 4 which i doubt that like anyone watching this video does but a lot of the bigger youtubers and a lot of the people um if you get them off ebay craigslist there's a lot out there so you can get this game very early they obviously cost um a little bit more but Currently, you can't actually access the game. It's kind of like the beta where um, it said like you have to wait for like an update or something. But uh, it, this obviously gives you an information screen and it says an update is required to play Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So when will this update come out? I'm assuming when the servers um, are become live. We don't know yet. Um, we haven't got any information on that, but that's just something that I wanted to put out there right now because people do have copies of the games, as you can see on your screen right now. Um, just a little bit of evidence. People do have copies of these games. People get them off Craigslist. Um, I actually think I heard a story. There was an employee at GameStop or something that took a few copies um, and just sold them on Craigslist and kept a few for himself, which it definitely happens. And... Um, Obviously, um, this is what Treyarch are doing to prevent people from leaking and uh, prevent people from getting the game files. Now, there is something that has actually been released, and that is the full list of everything that has changed since the beta, um, including every single weapon that will appear in the game, every specialist and all the equipment. There is a few things that have been reported to be missing, so whether or not um, this update that we're talking about will add those things or um, maybe just change a bit, but as of now, the link will be in the description. If you guys want to see everything from score streaks to guns to specialist, if you want to see all that good stuff, the link to the Reddit will be in the description. Um, and yeah, go check it out if you'd like. Now, when you guys see this, if you guys see this um, within the day that it comes out, the preloads for Xbox will be tonight and PS4 will be later on today, which is pretty unusual. Normally, PlayStation users get... Um, priority which has been something that we've seen lately but xbox get the preload and then i believe pc actually can already install the game which is um pretty good that is if you have the digital version which is um obviously a lot of people invest in digital versions um personally i'm buying a disc copy because i just prefer discs i know it sounds really weird but i do prefer disc versions one thing that we have been informed about is that a few retail stores um depending where you live i think in the united kingdom there's one called game in um the united states there's one called gamestop and then obviously in australia we got eb games but you will be able to um pretty much buy these games a day early you won't be able to access multiplayer beta 
zombies you'll be able to quite simply buy the disc this was i'm pretty sure marketing for for disc because obviously everyone's buying digital versions now by the time that you see this you might be able to um go ahead and buy one because as i said they release i'm pretty sure it's a day early i know in eb games um in australia it releases october the 11th so that means that you can um install the game and then you can install the preload and bang you're in um pretty much straight away it just as i said depends when the whole preload and the whole servers come out but if you go ahead and buy the disc early um you'll be able to quickly install that preload and get um, obviously in very quickly. With that being said, a little bit of information about multiplayer. I'm going to be focusing um, heavily on multiplayer in this video. Um, this is a little bit of evolved information. 14 maps have obviously been revealed to us and I will list them all real quick. So we got Arsenal, Contraband, which we saw in the beta, Firing Range, Frequency, which I believe we saw in the beta, Gridlock, which we saw in the beta, High Sianda, Icebreaker Jungle, Militia, Morocco, Payload, which we saw in the beta, Seaside, which we saw in the beta, Slums, and Summit. Now, I'll play a little bit of footage of the trailers that got released for these. Now, obviously, Summit, Slums, Jungle, and Firing Range are all returning to Black Ops 4 from previous Black Ops. But one thing that I wanted to quickly focus on was that from the trailers that we saw, Slums and Jungle pretty much looked identical to Black Ops 3. I honestly watched the trailer and literally believed that it was Black Ops 3. Um, I did, obviously, there's obviously a few trailers for, there's an Icebreaker trailer and an, oh, Militia. There's Icebreaker, Militia, um, Firing Range and Summit, oh, sorry, Slums trailer. I'm getting mixed up with these maps. But Slums and Jungle literally look exactly like black ops 3 which might be a little bit concerning i'm not sure obviously you have to experience the map first but that's just my thoughts on the maps now obviously 14 maps that's all right that's a lot more than we saw in the beta but let's make it 15 when nuketown releases and we know that nuketown will be in the game the previous leak that we saw from treyarch um not even a leak it was sort of information here on your screen right now is sort of a photo of um New, obviously the Nuketown sign with the population either going up or down and the tweet is actually in Russian I believe I'll put the translation on the screen right now I'm not sure what it actually is but it looks snowy and it's definitely Russian which is weird so maybe it might be set in Russia I'm not sure obviously that's very interesting and we do know that Nuketown will be in this game anyway um, on to the next topic we obviously saw two prestige emblems get revealed now I want to say right now honestly the the red one which is on your screen right now this is probably my favorite one out of the two. Obviously, I believe the second one, um, it's a knight with a shield. And the, the, the red one sort of, I don't know, the red one just looks super sick. We obviously don't know exactly the um, prestige. For some reason, I think that the red one is maybe prestige 3. I thought it was prestige 9. That was my original guess. But now looking at it, the little star at the back, there's three pointers. So maybe it might be prestige 4. Three, and I'm thinking that Prestige 4 will be the knight because obviously there's four um, pointers. I don't know what to call it, but there's four. At the start, I originally thought that the green one would be Prestige 8 and the red one would be Prestige 9. But with that being said, these both look absolutely sick. On your screen right now for any PC players, this is the launch for you guys um, around the world. We've got Los Angeles, New York, London, Stockholm, Berlin, Moscow, St. Paulo, Singapore, Seoul, and Sydney. These are all the release times um, for you guys. Obviously, this is when you'll be able to access the game. Um, for you guys, luckily, you obviously have already done the preload. All you need to do now is lift that barricade and let the floodgates roll, as um, a lot of content creators would say with that um with that update as i said i'm gonna be getting disc a lot of people are gonna be getting disc one thing that i do want to say is maybe you should rethink the whole process if you want to digitally download it or if you want to disc download it because obviously digitally downloading it you get the digital deluxe but disc can be a lot easier um and i don't remember the last time i ever regretted buying um 
just a disc instead of digital deluxe like half the th half the like extras you get aren't really interesting but honestly that's just my thoughts and obviously you guys can do whatever you want i hope you guys did enjoy this commentary i'm gonna be streaming during the week and weekend so stay tuned for that turn on post notifications and subscribe it is going to be such a good few weeks and such just such a good few months for content on my channel i'm gonna really focus on content creating i'm gonna focus on streaming and it's gonna be a whole lot of fun so if you guys do enjoy as i said like subscribe turn on post notifications tell your friends about the channel peace out and enjoy the rest of your day even if it makes me blind i just want to see the light breathe in leave it all behind i just want to see the light